Welcome back to our third uh, book, uh, workbook for Teach the Future for young people to be able to explore the future. Uh, I'm pleased to welcome two authors of this book. Uh, Julia Rose West uh, is a user experience research designer and director of that department for Ancestry.com. And Alita Drought is, a, uh, is the group strategy director for a design and communications firm. It is up, there it is, AQKA. Uh, they have written this book called What the Foresight, and, and I, every time I introduce the book, I tell you that is the best title of any book that I've ever heard of. I love it, and I've asked Julia and uh, uh, Allie to join us and explain what the book is, how it came about, and what it's good for, particularly for young people in this world where we're trying to introduce futures thinking into the school. So who wants to take it? Thanks, Peter. Um, I can kick us off. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, so as Peter mentioned, we, Ali and I wrote What the Foresight, how many years ago? Probably like 2017, 16 now? Four, almost five years. Yeah, and we actually, we wrote it because we met in grad school. We both, um, we have masters in strategic foresight and we met in grad school and we decided that there was a need for a book that could kind of introduce people to foresight, kind of strip the academia and sometimes the um, what's the word I'm looking for, the headiness away from it and make it approachable and get, get everyone excited about thinking about and exploring their possible futures. And fun enough, Allie actually now teaches at that school which we met. Yeah. Hi, my name is Allie Drought. I'm a group strategy director at AKQA now, but um, also teach at California College of the Arts and took over the strategic foresight course for the DMBA program um, last year. So now full circle, met Julia at CCA, now teach there and, and can see the tradition of um, embedding foresight into young strategic minds, which is very fun. Um, so this book really, as Julia mentioned, came out of our, our program at CCA and we wanted to, you know, ground a lot of the headiness that she was talking about of foresight, but also make it more approachable for those who aren't familiar with or just kind of teasing around the idea of what futures could look like. We wanted to really make it an approachable way for everyone to take a firmer grasp on what their futures hold, how they can better articulate it, how to move towards those futures. Um, so, you know, it's interesting. We originally thought about this book, you know, tailoring it towards people who are in, you know, young transitions in their life from high school to college or from college into the working world. And through prototyping it, through working, you know, with these little chunks of tools, realized that was a great audience. And there's another audience we didn't even anticipate loving this kind of style, which was people transitioning from working to not working. You know, recent retirees really kind of picking up this, these tools and starting to reimagine what their lives could entail after a big transition, which was really cool to see, I think. Yeah, that was that was very surprising to us because we thought, okay, this is gonna be a workbook for a younger audience. But what we found was actually a lot of people entering retirement were getting a lot of use out of it. But what was great about that is the retirees were then buying the books for people for graduation or for, for high school graduation, for junior high graduation, for college graduation, to really help them because they were going through the workbook, doing it themselves and seeing all the, the futures that they could explore. Um, so it's been, it's been a, fascinating, a fascinating turn of events. When we released the book, it really was to teach people who are interested in foresight about futures. And it kind of has ended up almost in a self-help section kind of way, because it really is about your personal foresight. So it's a forte into foresight by exploring your own personal futures, because we know everybody loves themselves. And so why not go through this workbook, explore your own personal futures. And um, the, the self-help lens was also kind of a, a surprising thing. But, and, and during COVID, we've seen a resurgence of sales because people are really starting to realize that we're living in this very uncertain world and I wish I was better prepared for it. I had no idea this was coming. And so they're kind of going back and saying, what could I have done to better prepare for this present that we're living in? Yeah, it's interesting. I love the ripple effects we've seen through people's lives. And, um, you know, one, it was actually an old, old boss of mine bought it 
and then told me about it. And he said, oh my gosh, I did it. And then I bought one for my wife because we needed to use this to chat about what our futures were gonna be together, um, which I love, you know, I loved hearing that ripple effect of people find, you know, by finding usefulness in it. And then also using it, not just as like a thinking piece, but as the start to a conversation and, and a broader investigation to how they could live collaboratively in the future with their you know, live, you know, wives, partners, loved ones, families. Um, it's just a really wonderful way to see futures taking an effect and having an effect on how people think collectively as well as individually. Ali, do you want to share, um, maybe hold up the book and share one of the tools we have? I think what's really fascinating is, Peter, we actually used your book to kind of look at these not, frameworks. Not nearly as pretty. <laughs> Very boring, actually. To look, no, it's not. Not yeah, at all. So this is the book. And we, what we did is we took these like really, you know, all the tools that were in your book and we looked at them and said, okay, how can we distill these down into five minute mini workshops that can mm -hmm. be digestible, but still contain the depth and the richness to give people that perspective into the future. Yeah. And so it's, it's colorful. It's fun. The reason why we have so many colors is because there's so many different possible futures and we want you to think across the entire spectrum. We had a lot of fun designing this because I think you know, one of the things we also found was um, that you need to be visually stimulated to, to put that much effort into, you know, thinking through all the permutations of what could happen and um, combining in you know, design and foresight was, was a really unique way that we, we thought was a new entry into attracting more people to bring their full selves, to stay integrated, to like stay intrigued into this sometimes really challenging topic. Um, so that was really fun. And I don't know what else do we want to say about this, Julia? It's like a little, another sneak peek is we have fun exercises in there. Well, it's fun to me. <laughs> Things like tweet your obit. So okay. what would that look like? It really makes you reflect yeah. back and say, okay, by the time, you know, my time is up, what am I going to want to accomplish? What am I going to, legacy am I going to leave? And it really propels you into that future and, and then shows you maybe the possible steps you need to take along the way if that's the legacy you want to leave. Um, so there's, there's fun ways that we get people thinking about the future and thinking about where they want to be, what they want to avoid, what they want to mitigate and what they want to go after. Mm -hmm. And it's very approachable. And um, uh, personally, I just think it's a fun, fun workbook. A fun thing for us that's come out of it is after people do the workbook, they constantly come to us and they'll tell us about this um, collapse scenario that they imagined or transformation <laughs> scenario they imagined. And that's a lot of fun. So we hope if you go through this workbook, and you do this, find us on LinkedIn, reach out to us, tell us about these crazy futures you're exploring. Um, we'd love to hear about them. Yeah. I think a summary of the book too is the subtitle. We didn't, we didn't share that yet. We didn't. The subtitle is Your Personal Futures Explored. Defy okay. the Expected and Define the Preferred. Yes, exactly. Perfect. That's a, that's mm -hmm. a great way to, way to describe what we're trying to do and, and, and teach the future. Uh, we've got a new vision statement where every student is able to navigate their uncertain future and work towards their preferred future. So this book is absolutely perfect for, for that. I can't thank you guys enough for sharing your, your book with us, for doing the book in the first place. And we're just at Teach the Future. We're just honored and privileged to be able to promote it and, and include it in our library that we're, everybody that we send, I have a, a file called an intro pack. And it's always listed in there as one of the three three primary books that we use. So thank you very much. I'll, I'll maybe see you at the Global Summit. And uh, with that, I hope I see you soon. Goodbye. Thank you, Peter. Thanks.